Hi, this is Darren with Abner's Outdoors. Not long ago, I made a uh, rock climbing workout video on this, this crag right here, and I showed how to make an anchor, and it didn't turn out very well. So I wanted to come back, I wanted to show it again. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I've got one anchor, two anchors, three anchors right here. First thing I did was come up and I chained in, you know, to get safe. So the first thing you want to do, you got to make a loop out of your climbing rope. You do that by a fisherman's knot. Okay, I'm not going to show you how to do that. Look it up. Super simple. Got to make sure you have a well-tied knot. Put a beaner on every one of your anchors. If you're if you're more comfortable, make it a locker. I probably would. I'm just going to save time and do it this way right for today just to show you. Actually, I don't even need one on here, but I'm going to because it's got a roll on here. But I'll go ahead and put one on there anyway just for just to make it quicker. Okay. Simply take your loop, hook it to all three beaners. All right, so the next thing you want to do, you want to pull between each of them. You got a beaner here, beaner here. Get them all the right direction. Pull between these two, between these two. And then just work it out until they're all the same length. All right, now you gotta decide your direction to pull. That's one, the one thing about this type of a anchor that is a drawback is it's a single direction anchor. My direction to pull is this way. It's not self-equalizing, okay? You have to climb off of this urete right here with this particular setup. So after you get it all set up, everything's all nice and tight, you want to make sure your rope, your knot isn't right up against the beaner. In my case, I think we're all right. That's my direction to pull, directly away. Come in here, tie either an overhand or a figure eight. You go ahead and tie it overhand. And there you have it. One. Two, three, redundant systems, any one of which would hold you if the other one's broke. Take your two locking beaners, opposite and opposed, lock them up, and you have got a bomber setup. That puppy's not going anywhere. And just so you know, I do like using my rope, my climbing rope for my anchors. I bought a 70 meter rope with the intent of cutting 10 meters off just for this. This is my favorite anchor material right here. And there's lots of different ways you can make your anchor. I can make it self-equalizing, basically with the same setup. It would be a lot easier if I was going off the face to make it self-equalizing, but Right now, I'm set up to climb this arete. All you got to do now, feed your rope through it, make sure your rope makes it to the bottom, repel off, and climb. So there you have it. Enjoy. So I was afraid that that back on the rock wasn't going to illustrate well enough what I meant when I said pull between the, uh, the beaners. So I just stopped alongside the trail here. If this was on top of a crag, I would probably trust this. Good, strong, solid oak tree, manzanita. 
I would prefer anchors, but natural anchors sometimes are just as good. But anyway, let me just get to it here. Rope goes through the beaners. And I purposely made these different lengths so you can so I can show you. Grab between the beaner. Grab between the beaner. Pull them down. Pull them down until they're all the same length. Get your direction of pull. It could be over there. It could be clean over there. Just make sure that all the ropes are taut. We'll just come over this way just to get closer. So my direction of pull, in this case, would be off that direction. Right down there. Everything's tight. All you gotta do, yeah, let me get this knot out of the way. There we go. Everything's the same. Bring it up. Tie your overhand or figure eight. Get your locking beaners, two of them, opposite and opposed. As long as your direction of pull is that direction, that's a bomber. But I hope that illustrated better what I meant when I said pull between the beaners. Have fun.